going on ladies and gentlemen monkey flop here and today I'm gonna be showing you how to swap out your PlayStation 4 hard drive today I'm gonna be upgrading from a 500 gigabyte to a 2 terabyte thank you Ted for getting in the picture <laughs> uh, I'll be showing you a complete tutorial uh, step by step so don't worry I will link you to where I purchased my hard drive I'm not sponsored or anything um, but I know the question's gonna be so the first thing you're gonna want to do is take off the top of your PlayStation 4 it's really easy you just uh, press it down and click it next thing you're gonna want to do is take off the famous PlayStation 4 screw as you guys are seeing right here now in the tutorial that PlayStation always tweets out that this is the the one screw that you take off and your hard drive simply pops out just like you guys are seeing right there it slides out you take one screw out and then it slides out but that's not all because there's four more screws holding on to your um, PlayStation 4 hard drive so I'm gonna <laughs> speed this up because I have shaky hands not gonna lie uh, but uh, it's a little bit lengthy too I wanted to show you guys the entirety of it so here I am unscrewing all four screws once you do that you can simply take it out it's really easy uh, you're gonna want to make sure that the casings are clean uh, my casing didn't have any dust on it but from time to time it will collect dust and your new hard drive should come packaged just the way you saw it there um, I got uh, this one right here it's two uh, terabytes now when you put it back in the casing it's important to remember um, how you took it out is the same way you're gonna put it back in now for the first screw it's a little bit difficult because your hard drive actually kind of floats in that casing it doesn't uh, sit up against anything except for what it's mounted to so uh, it took me a second to actually get the first screw in but after that it was pretty much easy going after that so here I am um, screwing the in the rest of the screws and then uh, we'll show you guys really quickly um, all the screws are screwed in then you simply just slide it back in you don't have to pop it in place or anything just push it in easy easy going and then just match it up with the hole to put the screw in um, once you um, simply tighten it just a little bit you can screw it in the rest of the way with a small uh, Phillips head screwdriver or star screwdriver some people call it different names I don't know but uh, so here we go uh, that is pretty much it all you're gonna want to do is put back on the casing hook up your PlayStation 4 uh, with the wires and everything in the back next up we are going to make sure that your USB hard drive is formatted you will need a USB hard drive because you will need to download the latest firmware um, so I'll link you to this in the video description uh, where you guys can go and download the latest firmware even if you back up your PlayStation 4 you will still need to download it so as you guys see there I clicked on download now on the page you guys will be able to scroll down and see exactly what I saw uh, once you have it downloaded onto your USB that's already formatted you can pop that baby back into your PS4 and you uh, go into safe mode which you hold the power button for about seven seconds it'll beep once then beep twice and you'll go into safe mode once you go into safe mode then you'll be able to hit uh, initialize like I just did now this doesn't take that long but I did speed it up for uh, video purposes it takes about a couple of minutes uh, to to completely uh, prepare it and then uh, update the the system software uh, can take a little bit longer so as you guys are seeing right now the system software is now installing it's prepared it's updated now it's installing on the PlayStation 4 and this uh, I sped up as well because it will take about another five or so minutes um, once this is completely installed your PlayStation 4 will automatically turn off and then restart once it's complete um, which we'll see here in just a second um, I, I edited just a little bit so you'll probably um, just see it go back into the menu so here we go now we are in 
what is the setup of the PlayStation 4. Your PlayStation 4 is brand new. Uh, you're going to want to select the same settings that you did when you first purchased the PlayStation 4. You'll have to do this um, in order to get into the restore part of it. If you guys have backed up your PlayStation 4, I have a separate video if you guys are curious. I will link that to you guys in the video description as well on how to back up your PlayStation 4 before you complete this process. Um, so as you guys are seeing here, I'm just going through the basic setup of it. Um, again, you have to do this even if you've backed it up previously. Um, once you get into there, you will actually um, be created a single username. You don't have to log in or create anything crazy. Just go into settings quickly. I wanted to show you that I indeed upgraded to uh, two terabytes uh, the playstation 4 takes about uh, 20 gigabytes of storage so here click on system then you can scroll down to backup and restore you know, you have your usb connected with your backup select it hit restore hit yes and then it's gonna take uh, a pretty long time depending on how much you have stored on your USB. I had about 180 gigabytes stored on my PS4 so it took about two hours or so but if you have the full 500 gigabytes it's going to take a little bit longer. Now we are actually uh, backed up and restored and I'm on my two terabyte hard drive and I wanted to show you guys that I indeed uh, carried over PT because that was one of my biggest concerns in doing all of this and this whole process was that I keep PT as long as you guys back it up and you make sure that you indeed uh, created a proper uh, backup for your PS4 and, and you do this process you should be good to go now as you guys see I'm going into system uh, storage management I wanted to show you guys how much I have currently on my PlayStation 4 I have a hundred and sixty nine gigabytes of applications and I wanted to show you guys as well um, PT is still running in the background uh, so that's awesome um, really excited about that because man you guys don't even understand. Uh, also, really quickly, I did run into some issues. Well, I'll address it in a separate video, um, the process of doing this. So be on the lookout for that if you guys experience any issues as well. So I'm going to actually go back into settings real quick. And I'm going to go into location store data. I want to make sure that all of my game saves are here as well. So let's go ahead and auto upload all of my uh, game saves and everything's here right yeah everything's here so that's awesome as well um, so I'll just make sure that that's checked and I'm good to go my PlayStation 4 is now upgraded to a 2 terabyte console because of the cost effect and it was really simple to just pop it in as opposed to buying extra parts I keep my PlayStation 4 vertical because I had issues with the eject button uh, with it laying flat it would eject my discs from time to time so that's a reason one of the reasons why I have a vertical the other reason is it breathes a little bit better um, now that that can be argumentable uh, but for me at least that's how I prefer my PlayStation 4 so that's why I upgraded to the two terabyte and nothing larger um, once you know hard drives drop down in price and I need to upgrade another time then I will definitely do so uh, but let me know what you guys think about this tutorial in the comment section below if you would take two seconds out of your day hit a like that really helps me out if this video helps you at all make sure to subscribe because I keep you guys up to date on all of the latest PlayStation 4 PlayStation Plus news updates all that good stuff so you don't have to anyways I will see you guys in the next news update <laughs> you guys are freaking awesome